pull that down. I'll set my microphone down. Or my. Hold on to that flag there. Congratulations, my friend. What a race. Dominating performance. Heat race feature all the way through. You made it work. Uh, talk about that one. It was great. Uh, we've been so close so many times this year, man. We have we haven't run out of the top three, I don't think, and just had bad luck. Got took out by a lap car last weekend reading, leading the feature down in Campton, Kentucky. But uh, we've just been working hard at this all summer, and we didn't give up on this car. And uh, you guys haven't given up on me, and uh, we, uh, we managed to pull one out tonight. Well, I tell you, this racetrack... You know, you could run the bottom, you could run the top. Uh, what, what made you figure out where you guys was going to run at? Because, uh, you know, there was a couple different line choices you could take. Yeah, there really was. Um, my car really liked to roll in on the bottom and come off the top. I seemed like I keep my momentum built up real good like that, and it's just what the car wanted, so that's what I let it do. So that's kind of how I chose it. Who you got to thank on the car? I got to thank GNW Construction for keeping me in a great job that allows me to do this. Uh, Mitchell Fields Garage. Utility Solutions, and a really huge thanks to Brian Sammons, uh, Sammons Transmission and Automotive. He's made this car 110% uh, faster than what it was at the beginning of the year, and I can't thank him enough for it. Got to thank my wife, Stacy, and my son, Tyler, for letting me chase this thing around weekend after weekend to uh, all my family. And a real big thanks to this guy right here because I couldn't do it without him. He keeps this car tip-top shape for me every weekend. He just started a couple weeks ago. This is only his third race, so... He's going to be right here with us pretty soon. All right, congratulations, race fans. One more time, put your hands together for B.J. Branham.